Yes, I see. Yes, she's a scientist. It, was, it wasn't biochemist. It was Sci soil scientist. He was certainly a. a, a si she used the word science. Oh yes, yeah, and yeah. It, and he was in the Vienna University. He was, yeah. you know, well approved, well well educated. He got all the right degrees. Mm. He did all the right things. Yeah, but um, and he designed um, a, a method for central heating using the. Uh, great skins, great remains. In fact, we've got his papers yeah. on uh, how you um, process so great mm. remains in order to create a central heating bank for your house. However, um, Gernot Grafi had gone um, into the area of developing um, rock dust and great skins, putting them two together. Uh, to develop a, and they called it a homeopathic treatment of the forests. Um, perhaps I should say before this that what brought them together was that Maria had goats, and the goats made a big smell. I uh, obviously had Billy goats there as yes, well. Yes, yes, they do. Uh, and uh, she wanted to, um, you know, stop the smell, to stop putting her neighbours off, and mm -hmm. so on. So. Uh, Gernot had helped um, create uh, an additive for the manures so that it was um, yes, no longer smelly. Mm. Yeah, okay, so it was done with grape skins and, and rock dust and so on. What an interesting meeting. Yeah, that's what I thought it together. Yeah. Um, and, um, but Maria... Um, One thing led to another. Yes, that's right. She was interested in organic gardening. Um, and he was interested in biochemistry, and, and they came together on this. <laughs> but between them, they developed this method of, of using the pendulum to determine how effective their work was as they went along. And they'd already, by the time we met Maria, um, developed quite a, a following in Austria. And, and in Europe generally, because they travelled around. Maria had been to England and given a lecture to the Dowsing Society in in England. Uh, yeah, um, we have a translation of that. No, no, I mean she gave it in English. Um, so they were already using um, the the pendulum and the Dowsing methods to determine how effective their work was. So when they turned it to the matter of the dying forest, which Maria also had in her garden with these dying mm. pine trees, um, they found that the problem was really originating in the um, intense electro smog, as they called it, um, which was developing in Europe at that time. The electro smog was not just a radar, uh, but it was what they call the handies, they, they call these, yeah, the these mobile, uh, mobile phones. phones. The handies. Yeah, the hand yeah. Oh, yes, I love these. I love them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all, everybody with their mobile phones yes. and satellites beaming mm. uh, things down and, and radar to guide planes into airports. And the, the whole thing was electro small. And she was getting very concerned and anxious about this. And, uh, and so, uh, they started to determine ways of uh, using rock dust and grape skins and um, working using the pendulums to determine how best to use their limited mm. uh, resource. I mean, you, you couldn't go and cover the entire Austria with grape skins and, no. and dust, uh, but you could do spot treatments. Mm. And they found that, that they could find very sensitive spots in the forest or in streams uh, and, and the rivers and, and so on around where they could put in a, a certain treatment and it would spread from mm -hmm. that point. So it was, it was like, um, well, they called it homeopathic treatment of the forests. Um, and, and also we had learned, of course, with... Um, again, um, George Ammerman in um, Hartstein, that um, he had built two of those great petrol tankers, you know, the, the, the trucks that go around taking yeah. petrol to the, the stations. Yeah, yeah those, those great big things. Um, 
and he put um, like a cannon on the back and they could drive these trucks through the forest and shoot the rock dust out oh, wow. into mm. the trees. Okay. In a solution. No, no, as as a raw dust. Oh, right. Mm. I must have had compressors or something to pull Yeah, well, whatever it was. Yeah, well, it was a fan, mm. a fan yeah. arrangement. Or just, and it was very it was fine very dust. very fine. Mm. It was mm. a, a 70 micron dust. So that was being blown out I into the trees. Uh, and they, they were finding that this was restoring the health of the forest as they went. Mm. And by the way, we went back uh, a couple of years That's later awesome. and we met the third man from Secrets of the Soil, Robert Schindley. Oh. His story, of course, was that um, he was a, a furniture maker and he had a section of forest and he used to cut trees, um, so many trees each year, uh, mill them and put them in his shed for seasoning yeah. and he would leave them 25 years before mm. he'd turn them into furniture but each year of course he... Uh, that's right, I, I mean they think a lot further mm. in, mm. in Europe than we do here mm. so he was, uh, he was doing this and one year um, he was told by his forester look, your trees are dying we, we really ought to get them out while we can mm. Uh, because they're, they're being killed off by this uh, this death in the forest. Yeah. So he said, well, all right, you better build a road in there so we can get in uh, and get them out. And uh, the, the guys who built the road used the local rock uh, to crush and, and lay down to put the road into the forest to get the trees out. And then the next summer when they went through to get the trees out, he said, well, why are you taking these trees? They're perfectly yes. OK. And, and it was the dust from the, the yeah. rock yeah. that they had used to make the road that had brought oh, the wow. trees back again. Wow. That's it. Yeah. Uh, That's and, cool. and so Robert Schindley said, well, if the rock's so good for the trees, what well, does it do for me? Yeah. So he started, <laughs> so started drinking it. He started, yes, he yeah. would take a spoonful with his breakfast yeah. every day. <laughs> and, and he suddenly discovered that he didn't have this liver problem anymore. And, yeah. And his hair was going from white to pepper and salt. And, mm. But anyway, he was suddenly getting a new, a new youth. Yeah. I used to do that for a couple of years. Just used to put rock dust in a jar yeah. Yeah. and add water to it, yeah. stir it up and let it settle, and then decant it off. We did that yeah. for years. And yeah. drink yeah. it, and then fill it up and let it settle, and then the next Yvonne, day... You know, Yvonne Swindle did, I remember. Mm. Yes, Yvonne did. Yes, Yvonne yes. 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 did it for yeah. a while, I it think. Was it was because we were next door to the body electronics stall at the Men of the Trees Fair, and we learned to do it from them. Yeah. Because that's what they did to get cans. Anyway. Yeah, that that's right. But the interesting thing was that Schindley not only discovered uh, that his rock was, you know, bringing the trees back to life, but he'd also to... discovered this this uh, wonderful thing that brought him back to life. <laughs> <laughs> and it got published, and he won two gold medals from the Australian government in the one year, which is unheard of, for his discoveries. And he said the first day he opened for business to sell what they call what he called um, super biomen. It, in a, a kilogram tin of his crushed rock dust. <laughs> he said there was a, a queue of traffic down ah. the road at one and a half kilometres long. They're selling this <laughs> around rock dust. Yes, selling this around rock dust. What state was that in? What state was that in? You see, the Austrian people are very sensitive to minerals. I mean, that's where all, all the spas in, in yeah. Austria, they have these mud baths. It's a Paleolithic history, really. Yeah. You know, um, they're miners. They're... Yes. They're in the mountain. That's right. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, they are. Uh, and it's, it's part of their culture mm. it, to appreciate that the land has got all the goodness in it. Didn't they, they, keep they, old yeah. poor old Gurnall alive, though, did it? Well, he, he had a massive heart attack. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But still, the. Um, oh, well, I don't know what no. that brought that on. No, no, still. no, that's true. And he was so sorry. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, but, well, the trouble with medical science is <laughs> they won't let you die these days. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead right, Mary. Well, it's, it's, it, looks, <laughs> it looks bad on that CV, 